The macroeconomic outlook for sub-Saharan Africa continues to gain strength with growth expected to increase from 2.7% in 2017 to 3.1% in 2018 and 2019 respectively. That's good news for one of the most impoverished regions in the world, but the International Monetary Fund says an estimated 20 million jobs is critically needed in sub-Saharan Africa, yet advancement in technology continues to be a major hindrance to job creation as machines replace human labor. Growth is rebounding in the region as a whole um, and I think one of our principal observations was that growth in the Gambia is actually exceeding the regional average and the prospects are there for growth to continue to exceed the regional average but only within the context of continued pursuit and continued adherence to the reform agenda. Debt vulnerabilities have continued to rise in many sub-Saharan countries and policy action is needed to strengthen fiscal positions and enhance debt sustainability. However, Madam Ruby emphasized the need to increasingly navigate the gap between labor force and technology to meet expected growth rates. Every country's circumstances are going to differ, um, but I think it's important to be proactive. Um, as you saw, a lot of the Q&As were around how to strengthen the uh, private sector, how to create a more enabling environment for the private sector. So it's important that, uh, that there be an active dialogue between the government and the private sector to also make sure that private sector um, is actively engaged and participates in the recovery. Growth in the Gambia is forecasted to remain robust and exceed the regional average if the authorities stay on course with the current reform agenda, which aims to enhance fiscal viability, restore debt sustainability and strengthen the business climate. The economy is moving good. Our, our last year our GDP growth target was 3.5 and we will be at 4.5. This is very good. It's more than the average of sub-Saharan Africa. And you look at all the um, parameters like uh, the inflation is still single digit. Uh, I think it has been stable um, for, for quite a long time, uh, except for around September, October, due to pressure on Hajj and like we saw a depreciation of the dollar. But even that is reversing now, at least it's stabilizing. The permanent secretary, however, added that with the involvement of the private sector and efforts being made by the new government, Gambia will continue exceeding market expectations. As a government as, and as a, as, a, as a ministry, we try to do our best to really positively move to the right direction. And that is encouraging to the private sector because some of the things that the private sector will need as information is how vibrant, how good the economy is moving. And if you are moving in those directions, I think the market, the margin market for the Gambia would be would be really boosted. However, adjustment is urgently needed to reduce fiscal deficits and ensure balanced regulations that place sufficient emphasis on sound revenue mobilization to reduce debt vulnerabilities and create space for prioritized social and development spending. For GRTS News, I am Fatih Elika Muloshi.